our Marine Enforcement Unit philosophy is basically education through enforcement. Our unit consists of three deputies and a, and a supervisor, and we're out there on the water four to five days a week, and we're out there looking for violators so we can make contacts with them. Hey, I'm Deputy Cook, San Rio Sheriff. The reason why we're stopping you, so when you're going, the gentleman right there that was sitting up on that flat part of the engine hatch, you can't sit up there when the boat is moving, okay? So like, if you guys were hit a big wave, or if he was to accidentally gun it, you would fall back straight to where? Right in the propeller, right there. Basically, we just, it's, told them and educate them where they can and cannot sit on the boat when it's underway. So when the skier flag is up, when someone puts the skier flag up, it's either someone in a tube has fallen off the tube or they have skiers in the water or like someone like this person is wakeboarding and they fell down. They put that flag up once they fall and go of the rope and it lets all other boaters around the area know that someone is in the water. So this is famous Copper Canyon. This is one of the bigger destinations that people come to to tie up, hang out for the day. Jump off the rock formations over there. We do have some incidents here, especially people jumping off the rocks. Had some drownings and stuff in the past. We're gonna head up north towards uh, through the Tulpot Gorge and up to Pirates Cove in the Park Mojave. And along the way, we're looking for violations. And then ultimately, we're gonna check those violations and make sure the operators are safe and sober. And if we need to issue a citation, we will. And if not, we'll educate them and let them on their way. One of the benefits of, of living here in Lake Havasu, I actually grew up here. So we, I moved here in 1983 and being out on the water, my father being a law enforcement wow. officer out on the water, I got to know uh, a lot of people out here and it's a very small community. The reason why we're stopping you is because he doesn't have a life jacket on. So you need a full one with the, with the buckles and all that. Yeah, this is like the kitchen one. Yeah, this is basically what they gave us at the rental. So we're over here on the Arizona side. This is called Steamboat Cove, where you get a lot of boats that will, will mourn and come to meet up together. While they were underway, he was standing in that area we're standing at right now. And in the state of California and Arizona, you can't do that while the vessel is underway. So this is the world famous London Bridge. The founder of this town, Mr. Robert McCulloch, bought this in the 1960s and brought it over from London and had it reconstructed. It has since then exploded and has turned it into like the main tourist attraction of this town in Lake Havasu, which causes you know millions of people to come here every year. Can I have you just inside the boat though? I'm not the deck. Thank you. And then one life jacket for person. No, seats I, are cool. We I, love those seats too. I, I, but perfect. when you're moving, it's illegal in both. Okay. Yeah. Training is the big thing. We try and dive or splash caught as much as we can just to stay familiar and comfortable with diving. Obviously, it's a dangerous thing to do. So the more you do it, you get more comfortable with it. We like our guys to maintain that level of training so that we're always ready to respond wherever we need to go. But what we can do is we want to go a little bit further. We can drop anchor. There's a submerged fuselage of a plane that we're going to go down and dive and explore a little bit. It's a good training site, about 17, 20 feet deep down. That first hour is like a rescue. So we have a boat accident. That first hour, we can be a hasty team. We get in the water and try to rescue people that are in the water submerged. After that, then it's a recovery. So basically they're going down, they're following our anchor line down to that sunken airplane. And I'm just gonna follow them with our ROV. When I get out of the military, the wife and I had kind of decided we wanted to move to Havasu. And I learned San Bernardino had the needles office. I heard about the boating unit. I started working a lot of overtime and eventually I got involved in it full time. And along with that came with diving. I like to be out there to hope that I can make a difference, being able to help others in their time of need if needed. Always good. I grew up here, I've been here for 30 something years on the water and I just get the satisfaction of knowing that I didn't have to use my dive gear to go down and rescue someone because they did something maybe silly or something that was unsafe on the boat. And if I can make those stops and enforce that and stop those people doing something unsafe, help them out and make sure I go home at the end of the day, make sure they go home at the end of the weekend. So we saw two juvenile females, approximately six or seven years old, on the bow of the boat. Both of their feet are hanging off the bow of the boat in the water. Now, that poses a problem. If, the, if something happens and they do fall into the water, they're gonna go underneath the vessel and the propeller's gonna hit them and possibly kill them. We see stuff on the water that's very different than that of a, a typical car accident. People getting prop strikes, losing limbs, and 
it's difficult to get out of your head, but you push on, you go out there, and hopefully that next stop that you make is gonna be the one that maybe saves a life. Our main goal is to make sure that people out here enjoying this waterway go home at the end of the day safely.